What if somebody's transitioning from a traditional PM role? What are the three main skills they need to unlearn to get into Gen AI? I would say the first, first thing is unlearn how you have been operating in the past. And mm -hmm. what it means is first, if you were spending a lot of time creating the perfect specs and PRD, mm -hmm. I think start thinking differently. Have to, yes, you have to create specs and PRD maybe, but the the you are actually the first consumer should be an AI tool where you can feed in the, those PRD and quickly generate a prototype, right? And all these amazing tools, Lovable, Bold.new, Vio, and so many others, I think those are amazing, right? How you can quickly get started so that you're not spending a lot of time trying to explain what is the problem, what is the user problem, and you know, trying to convince the stakeholder. You have a, mm. now actually a prototype right in front of you. Use that as a starting. So I think that's first skill. The second biggest thing I believe it needs to change is you have to start thinking more like a full stack product PM instead nice. of a, like thinking just, oh, I'm working in now application layer. So I don't care about what's happening in the back end. Because see, when let's say a Gen AI chatbot fails, there could be so many things that could have gone wrong. Things mm. could have been a problem on the user experience layer. Maybe the model itself is not that model layer and the model that you're using is not perfect. Maybe the GPU that is powering that experience, there is some delay of in responding to the user. That's where the problem is. Or maybe there is some problem in the orchestration layer. So I think by full stack PM, what I mean is have a builder mindset. And second, go deep in your area, but have some mm. enough knowledge about other area over time so that you know where could be the bottlenecks. I feel like experiments are a big part of Gen AI in the sense that convincing stakeholders to stay the course, even if the experiments don't get immediate results. You, influencing skills change with such an experimental heavy domain, do you think? So I think from an experimentation perspective, the biggest challenge that happens these days is, okay, you have some idea. Now, how do you, uh, let's say, convince anyone about where you would be, let's say, one month later or two months later after the launch? Things are mm -hmm. completely uncertain. And I think, and that mindset shift uh, the, for, for good reasons is changing across different functions also. How experimentation is changing is, I think your journey actually starts once you shift the product. You yeah. have to keep, keep monitoring it, continuously evaluating it. And right. that is when actually your journey is starting. Unlike the traditional PM, where yes, you need to measure me metrics even after shipping it, but it's a minor mm. iteration, hopefully. But here actually the journey starts then because that's when all the risk comes in. What if the product does something or responds to the users, which is, uh, does not conform to fairness, transparency, or mm -hmm. it's biased to a specific user. 